So I wanted to talk about this new debate that's going on around the country, and this is about um, the Confederate flag or the Confederate battle flag. Now, a lot of people, white people, um, Republicans, these conservatives, I'm, I'm not every white person, I'm not going to even say it like that, but a lot of these conservatives, Bill O'Reilly, um, and a few others are saying that we should keep the flag up because it's a tradition in the South. It's, um, it's, well, it's woven into their history and they should keep it. And I think a lot of people, and they're telling people these false facts about these about the, the confederate flag and to be quite honest it's it's appalling and it's sad that a lot of people are not they don't have a clue as to what the facts are fact one you can find out by just re doing a real little research that not one state in the south had the confederate flag up until the 40s and the 50s back when Truman was trying his best at the time to abolish segregation and making it against the law to lynch African Americans. And as he was trying to do that, South Carolina, Florida, um, Mississippi, Tennessee, Texas, all these, um, Georgia, all these southern states that were a part of the Confederate states began to put that in their flag to show that they don't want to have interracial mixing at all. They didn't want desegregation. So this is from the 40s all the way up into the 50s and 60s. And the sad thing is most of these states down there that wrote, that had the flag didn't even have it in their own their flag at the time. It wasn't a part of their history. It was only a part of a bunch of these I guess radical white people down there that felt that they wanted to continue to have segregation as it was in the 1800s and prior. After the war, we they lost that right to have slaves, so they wanted to keep segregation. And it's a sad thing that you can go back about 50 or so years in this country's history and actually find slaves. Because down south, segregation, you might as well be a slave. You wasn't getting paid the same amount of money. You wasn't getting, you weren't able to vote in certain states. You weren't, you wasn't able to own land. You wasn't, you couldn't do nothing if you was African American down there. So it's a shame that a lot of people don't understand that the Confederate flag is not a symbol of bravery. It's a, it's a symbol of a bunch of states that seceded from the country and you can call that anything you want it but they seceded from the rest of the uh, from the north and which was the united states the continental of the united states for slavery that's it 